only way that you're going to get help out here is being a little dishonest. The thing about it, no, none of these people are breaking laws. Well, you've likely seen them at major intersections in the city holding signs asking for your money. But do you ever wonder if those signs are truthful and where your money goes if you do donate? That's the question one Lakeview woman had for panhandlers in her neighborhood. And she was surprised at what she found out. WDSU reporter Gina Swanson has more. Megan Bourgeois has family in the service and a soft spot for those in need. So when this pair showed up in her neighborhood, at first she and others wanted to help. Basically they started standing out there a few months ago and we genuinely felt bad for them. They carried signs that read disabled veteran or a rock veteran, but something didn't seem right and Megan began to question whether the pair had really served our country or whether they were simply serving themselves. Our neighbors tried giving them food to which they turned it down and that's when we started questioning their legitimacy if they actually had served. She inquired about their military service. He proceeded to tell me that was none of my effing business, started yelling at me, making obscene gestures, and that's when I realized that this really was just a scam. The duo are Casey Nunez and a friend. They set up at the corner of Florida Avenue and I-610, a busy junction in the Lakeview neighborhood, and plenty of drivers stopped to help. But when Megan learned the men had never served, she took to the internet and posted this picture on Facebook. It began to circulate more than 3,000 shares overnight. Her post even led to this highly charged confrontation with Nunez. When she called them a fraud, Nunez responds. I'm making a bigger sign, and I'm going to bring the bugs here. So. The next day, our cameras were rolling as the pair were back on the corner. The friend was holding a sign asking for money. Nunez watched from a car parked just across the street. After several minutes, the friend pulls out a cell phone, makes a call, accepts another donation, then packs up his belongings, gets in the car with Nunez, and the pair drive away. It's a scam. Their job is to hustle you out of your hard-earned money. State Representative Austin Badon says he's seen it all before. I've seen it on two occasions myself where the overseer is parked along the side, and the guy who's working the street will walk over, empty his pockets, he'll get his cut, and he'll come back. Badon authored House Bill 1158 in the last legislative session. The bill looked to put tougher solicitation laws on the books. It also included a provision on panhandling handling to address scenarios like this one, but the panhandling language was taken out of the bill before it went for a vote. Right now, it is technically legal. The Supreme Court says that they have the right to ask you for money, and you have the right to say no. And that's exactly what the people in Lakeview started to do. After Megan's picture went viral, the donations for Nunez and company started to dry up. We've really become victims out here. Now, because of the Facebook, we're not getting no help. It, it's horrid. And we are genuinely homeless. Nunez has documented his street experience on social media. He updates it often, sometimes several posts a day. And he records those who challenge what he's doing, including police officers and Megan Bourgeois. Legally, they cannot come out here and run you and ask for your ID because you haven't broken a, a law. On one occasion, when our camera showed up, the friend again whipped out his cell phone and made a call. Minutes later, Nunez was there. There are people who, um, who say what you're doing is a scam. What do you say to those people? It's Kate? not a scam. The thing about it is, we, we come out here because we are homeless, and it is not by choice. Nunez says he lives out of his car, and in exchange for the donations, he keeps the area clean. We have to survive. Now... We clean up this area for the residents. Just this morning, I picked up the hypodermic syringe. And when it comes to those who question his claims to be a veteran. Even though, you know, the sign indicates one sign thing, say? it says disabled veteran. Is veteran, he? hold on. Veteran. Let's talk about that word. Let's stop assuming. People are quick to assume. Yeah, they are. Go to Google, Google veteran, and then you come back and talk to me. It has nothing to do, this sign has nothing to do with military. A veteran is anyone who is seasoned in any particular field. Okay. He is a veteran. He is a veteran crime fighter, along with me, looking out for my people in New Orleans. 
Nunes tells us that is the oldest active Roman Catholic church. He's a former tour guide and has had small roles on reality TV shows. So is all of this just acting or does he really need the help? His public profile on social media suggests something different. Pictures of Nunez with hands full of cash, posting about vacationing at the beach and drinking a brew with a friend. Uh, I have not had a sip of alcohol other than a beer on Father's Day in the last two years. When asked about the house on the beach. We're right now renting a weekly rental in Mississippi for 125 a week. And the handful of cash he says was a generous donation. But what is his relationship to this man he identifies as Norman? I'm not his boss. Norman has lived on his own. We're best friends. We grew up as children together. Nunez says he's more than comfortable with the claims he makes to generate what he considers to be donations to a good cause. Megan Bourgeois and Austin Madon have had enough. So I can only imagine the money that they're you know, receiving from all of this. Why would you give your hard-earned money to somebody who's capable and able to have a job? And, you know, it's a quality of life issue. People don't want to see that in their neighborhood. It shouldn't be tolerated. On your side, Gina Swanson, WDSU News. The Lakeview Crime Prevention District eventually asked Nunez and his friend to stop panhandling in the area. Both Nunez and Megan Bourgeois were issued citations for their heated conversation and con confrontation. But it's uh, situations like this that have prompted some groups to discourage panhandling and encourage folks to just donate to homeless shelters instead.